Last fall, the UTA Mavericks ended up with a dismal season, winning one while losing 10 and drawing about as many spectators as points on the scoreboard. March 4th, after three months of deliberations, the Student Activities Fee Advisory Committee suggested the football program be scrapped. The question has become the center of debate as students gathered for a noontime rally to hear arguments from both sides and to sign petitions. The fee committee is opposing football because the program receives student activity money, which could be spent on other things. But speakers on both sides of the issue found apathy a common enemy. There's been no spirit, no nothing concerning UTA. Half the people just come to the school, go to classes and leave. They could care less about the rest of what's going on in this campus. We have not heard anything from the student body until somebody's toes got stepped on. This is a sad indication of the attitude of enthusiasm that we have on this campus. Many students seem to have mixed emotions about the future of UTA football, and for a variety of reasons. But we don't uh, get the uh, support from the Arlington Knights themselves enough to uh, really support the program, and it's really draining the students. How do you feel about football on campus? I love it. I love it. Wish it would stay, too. No, I don't want it. I think the money needs to be put into women's yeah. athletics. Football coach Bud Elliott says he is having difficulty retaining recruits already signed because of the controversy. He says it would be nearly impossible to reinstate a program once it's terminated. Mike Miller, Channel 8 News at the University of Texas at Arlington.